Yeah, so going back to the camera, uh, going back to the phone, uh, I tried doing the, uh, the GoPro Hero 9. <clears throat> Filmed a lot of good stuff today and you know, burned up the battery and come up with SD error. So I was like, all right, well, so I rebooted the, computer, the uh, phone and wouldn't you know it, everything I took today is gone. But everything I did in the past, 20 minutes still there but you know that's a little disappointing but uh i don't know that's that's a little error i need to figure out especially when i go um with jmt as i said, got intentions of making some good video but uh, as of right now suspect so we'll see uh, that being said just had dinner you know wind blows it cools off didn't stop, and then it warms up again. So I don't know. I figured tonight it's gonna be in the 40s, maybe. It's not. It's, you know, it's not that bad right now. Like, like it gets warmed and it cools off, and you know, it is what it is. So probably be in bed here in the next hour or so. Hey, weather channel. All right. So lately, uh, let's say lately in the past month. I've been doing jujitsu, so it's exposing me to some of the uh, limitations I have, uh, flexibility-wise, mobility-wise, and how that affects everything. So, over the past um, week, I would say, week ten days, I've been doing a lot of research on um, uh, extra uh, uh, flexibility how to become more mobile, how to be more limber. Um, so I've been doing a lot of stretching. And last night, or uh, I'd say Thursday night, <clears throat> um, I seen something a few weeks ago about this guy, but knees over toes guy. He's on YouTube. And one of the interesting things about knees over toes guy is he's had knee issues in the past and improved his vertical and alleviated a lot of his issues, all of his issues, by improving his flexibility and uh, not necessarily thinking outside the box, but taking old um, information that was readily available um, from uh, different athletic trainers 50, 60 years ago and applying it to today using uh, those old techniques and I find it very interesting so what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to get to the point uh, is I've noticed today after my 10 mile hike the hip flexors um, generally would be a lot more fatigued right now um, definitely would be telling on me and I would be uh, definitely uh, a little more definitely more tired uh, it's in in the hip hip flexor uh, glute area but since I've been doing the stretching it seems like there's more a little stronger in those areas flexibility and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see where it goes from here because uh, you know uh, yet last night I started trying to experiment with doing a front split and that was interesting so there's a guy on YouTube who's doing front splits he said uh, 30 days of front splits I was like, hey, you can do front split in 30 days no joke he did front split in 30 days he was just busting out splits and different locations at different times. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And I really hope I don't burn this battery up because I'm really disappointed that it reformatted and deleted all the other photos and images and videos that I had earlier. Uh, real frustrating, real frustrating. But, you know, we're going we're to make the most of it. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, showing signs of improvement there. And because I noticed the other day when I was doing jiu-jitsu, I was throwing the leg, doing some different stuff, and 
a lot of groin, lower abdomen, a lot of focus is on that just by moving different legs around, different body parts around, throwing people. You're using a lot of muscles in the groin abductor region and it makes everything a little difficult. So if you're not quite right, you know, it's telling on me. So I've been looking for answers and I think I may be onto something here. Uh, I wanted to keep trying to see if I can do a split. That's the, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the goal. And I'm going to bust that out on people and they're not even going to realize it. They're like, whoa, did you just do a split? Bam, yeah, I did. You know, that kind of thing. So well, we'll see. Uh, so other than that, I don't think I'm going to start putting some of this stuff up and I might go to bed and uh, we probably, what? I think close to seven o'clock Alabama time, so it's about eight Georgia time. <sighs> Get a book, gonna do a little reading, and then kind of go from there and do it all again. Put the stuff up and try to get gone early, and try to cover some ground and see where we're at around noon, and then kind of make a plan of action from there. But anyway, check you guys out in tomorrow. <sighs>
very high in calorie is on my agenda for the next uh, couple hours. So I should be at the car here within the hour and this little adventure be over with. So anyway, Alabama, yeah, cool. Catch you guys later.